What's up guys, Boogie the Trainer back again with another video and today we are going to talk about carbohydrates. Are carbohydrates the enemy? Um, yes and no. The short answer would be yes and the long answer would be no. Let's start with the short answer. Short answer is yes because most people abuse carbohydrates and we are you know let's even actually track back a little bit i'm going to focus mainly on the people who easily gain weight because the most people who complain about carbohydrates are the ones who easily gain weight or who are trying to lose weight okay so usually carbohydrates are painted as the enemy for the people who easily gain weight like myself and people who are trying to lose weight or who are on their weight loss journey or fat loss journey let's say fat loss journey okay so Carbohydrates are the enemy, yes, for the people who are trying to lose weight or who easily gain weight, also known as the endomorphs. So, yes, they're the enemy because most people struggle because most people struggle to make good carbohydrate choices. Okay, I've never heard of someone who gained weight because they ate clean. I've never heard of someone who gained weight because uh, they ate too many sweet potatoes. I've never heard of someone who gained weight because they, 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 they cut out uh, sugar in their coffee. I've never heard of someone who gained weight because they chose the kind of juice that has less sugar than the usual ju juices that they sell in the stores. I've never heard of someone who gained weight because they chose to have fruits as a snack over having candy or ice cream. I've never heard of someone who gained weight or even failed to lose weight or struggled to lose weight because they chose to have better carbohydrates like Real, real potatoes, baked potatoes over fries. So, carbohydrates are only the enemy to people who struggle to control the portions they eat and to control what kind of carbohydrates they eat. Because there, there's levels to this, okay? An apple is different from ice cream. An apple is different from a, a donut. An apple is different from a candy. An apple is different from a cupcake. There's there are different types of carbohydrates. Let's not get it twisted, okay? A cupcake may be lighter than an apple, okay? But an, on average, an apple has like 120, you know, maybe 130, 140 cal calories, you know, which is like 30, 40 grams of, uh, of uh, carbohydrates, but a cupcake, just a cupcake, a small cupcake, you know, can have 200 plus calories just because it packs so, so much sugar in terms of carbohydrates. Simple sugars at that. It's not gonna make you full, feel full or satisfied in a way. It's very small and light and it may seem like a simple snack, right? But it's gonna give you way more calories than the apple and it's not even going to be the kind of calories that are good for you those are simple sugars that just raise your blood sugar but don't really add nothing to you you see the difference so but they're both types of carbohydrates so you need to choose your car carbohydrates better that's why carbohydrates again are only an enemy to people who don't know how to use them how people who don't know what kind of carbohydrates to have and people who don't know how to control their portions okay most people who, who get overweight or get fat, even me, I don't get fat just because I had too, too, too much oats. You know, the most I can have is like a cup and a half of oats before I, f I feel like I can't have any more. But give me a regular cereal and I'll eat as many bowls as possible because they have so much sugar and for some reason, sugar is like a drug for us. We want more and more and more. We get addicted to simple sugars. Our bodies are crave simple sugars carbohydrates are the main source of energy for our bodies whatever you do 
your movements, when you carry, when you talk, the way I'm talking to you, when I carry something, when I move, when I walk, when I lift something, when I talk, when I look at you, all that energy, most of that energy comes from carbohydrates. So you need carbohydrates to function. That's why when you, people who starve themselves, or if you, sometimes when I diet, I diet on low car carbohydrates, I get, you know, very, very, I, I get easily irritated because my blood sugar is low. Carbohydrates give me the energy or give us all of us the energy to function very well. So when you are on low carbohydrates or you're not even having carbohydrates at all, you're easily moody because the body is lacking that energy to make you feel good and function well. So that's why carbohydrates are important for us. And like I said before, the only issue is most people abuse the carbohydrates. So if you learn to control your carbohydrate portions and you learn what kind of carbohydrates to eat and you make better food choices in terms of carbohydrates, you'll be able to work around them. Okay. Now I get it. Some people are more sensitive to carbohydrates than others. Okay. And that's something you have to find out about yourself. Okay. We may be the same weight but you may have to, to reduce carbohydrates more than I have to do so, okay? But that's where the cardio comes in. That's where the cardio helps to burn off those extra calories, okay? So that's why if you combine good diet and cardio and strength training, you will see results as long as you're consistent with it. Like the video, subscribe, comment down below your fitness goals, your fitness questions, and I'll get back to you guys. Peace. What's up guys, it's Boogie the Trainer. So guys, I have good news for you. Do you wanna be able to ask me two questions, two fitness questions every single week? Personally, on my phone, okay? On my phone number. Do you wanna be able to ask me two fitness questions every week? Well, I've made that easy for you. Okay guys, if you have any fat loss uh, questions, if you have any diet questions, some of you don't know how much food you should eat, don't know, don't know how many grams of carbohydrates, don't know how much protein you should eat, Okay, some of you don't know how much cardio you should do, don't know how long you should do the cardio, don't know what to lift, don't know what workouts to do. If you have any struggles, if you have any questions re with regards to your fitness journey, your fat loss journey, diet, anything you want to ask me, you can get to ask me two questions every single week for only $5 a month. Okay, so you, cannot, you can just go to buymeacoffee.com slash boogie, B-U-G-I-E, and subscribe to my profile for only five dollars in the month only five dollars guys i made it so cheap so you can get to ask me whatever you want two questions every single week